Okay, today we're going to compare two Fram Ultra oil filters. The new version Fram Ultra, number 10575, and the old version Fram Ultra, number 10575, that I opened from a past video. And you can get the new version Fram at Walmart for $10.97. And if you look on the box on the old version, right here it says, Durable Metal Screen. You look on the new version, it says perfect seal gasket. So the new version says perfect seal gasket. We'll check that out. We'll see if there's any difference. So let's get started. This is a board. You got to do the silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your inner ear. Filtration. Okay, we'll start with the boxes and we'll start with the new version. You read it back here, it says, Dual layered synthetic media provides 99% dirt trapping efficiency. 20,000 miles. And if you look down here, for particles greater than 20 microns. Okay, and the old version, it says the exact same thing on the back. Dual layered synthetic media, 99% dirt trapping efficiency. And down here it says, for particles greater than 20 microns. The only difference on the boxes here that it says is in the front. Where it says, this one says metal screen. And this one says perfect seal gasket. That's the only difference, the writing on these boxes. Okay, let's open her up, see what she looks like. And the date code. A11733. That it looks like to me anyways made in USA and this is printed on you got the sure grip here and she has eight inlet holes silicone anti drain back valve metal core with holes and the bypass valve down below now this is the gasket they're talking about. This comes off real easy. And we'll check the other one afterwards. The other one's already been opened, so I'm not going to bother with it right now, but I'm going to open this one up first. But the only difference, I think, in these two filters is going to be this, this one doesn't have the metal screen. But we'll check. We'll see if the filter media is a different length. I don't know about that yet. So I say we cut this baby open and see if she's the same as this one. Be right back. Okay, here's the new one cut open and let's see how much she weighs. 277 grams. And how about the old one? The old one weighs 317 grams. Let's check out the base plates. The new one weighs 110 grams. And the old one weighs 110 grams. Okay, let's check these babies out. If you look on here, you'll see it says 3Z. This one says 3Z. So they're identical base plates. I mean, you can tell by looking at them. I marked I marked the new one with a white here, so I wouldn't mix them up. Now let's check out the O-rings. These are nice base plates. They got a lot of a lot of holes, and the threads ain't bad either on them. It's pretty good. As far as the gaskets, they say the new one has a new uh, approved gasket. Um, you know. They look the same to me. I don't see no improvement there. I think it's the same thing. These two are the same. Any drain back valves, they're both silicone. They're the same. 
I'll just show how they go over it. Go over it nicely like this. Cover up the holes. Okay, filter media. Get out of the can. Now let's weigh this too also. Eighty eight grams. Metal crimp seam. And I counted forty eight pleats. And this is a synthetic blend media. It's pretty clean. Metal end caps. Metal core with holes. And bypass valve 12. Got a stamped bypass valve here. So it's 12 grams for this guy. Now let's check out this one. This one's been cut open, so let's check out the bypass valve. 11. I mean, this one's white. I'm sure they're the same thing. They look the same. That one says 12. Now it says 12. So, you know, that, because it's so, it's probably right on the border, you know. We'll be in between 11 and 12, but it's, they're both the same, just different colors. Okay, filter media on this one. I'm going to put this in there too. It fell apart before when I opened it. 128 grams. And you can see this one has the metal screen backing to it. We'll stretch these out and then we'll compare them also. But you got the metal end caps. It's the same, same on both of these guys. You know, metal end caps. But this one has more pleats. The new one has more pleats because the old one only had 31 pleats. So this old one, 31 pleats. The new one has 48 pleats. So I'm thinking you got more filter media. You don't have the metal screen backing, but you have more filter media. Maybe that's why they changed it. I don't know, but uh, could be we'll stretch them out, see what the difference is in uh, square inches. But yeah, and how about the cans? Let's check out the cans. Get a measurement first. Point point five five millimeters. Let's get the ball. Oh, get that off of there. Weighs fifty eight grams. Point five four millimeters. Yeah, same thing. Point millimeters, nothing. Let's see, fifty eight grams, six fifty nine grams. You know that's really right on there because look, if you look at these filters, look at this one's got more. You see how it goes down the sure grip stuff. You know, it could have a little more or less. So that's. They're right on. They're pretty good cans. They're like an average. 0 0.4, 0 0.5 is about average. Okay, well I say we uh, we cut this baby open, stretch her out, and see how she compares to this one, the old one. Okay, I almost forgot to get the measurements on the filter media. Get the width. And they're both going to be identical, so it doesn't matter. 2.46 inches wide. Two point seven zero this way. 
and the overall length is going to be 3.10. Okay, let's cut this baby open and see how long she is. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the old Fram Ultra is 36 inches long. And the new Fram Ultra is 54 inches long. Oh, a little bit longer. There, zoomed out. Okay, at the time I made this video, I didn't know about the change in the filter media. I do now. This was posted on Bob is the Oil Guy. You can freeze the video here and read Fram's new media specs. Or just keep watching the video. Okay, back to the video. Okay, here they are at the seams. And I cut some little samples here to measure. See what the differences are. Okay, got 0.94 millimeters for the old one and the new one is get it so get a nice spot here to measure this 0.81 millimeters and they're they're both uh, dual layered filters You can see the two two layers. It's, li it's lighter on one side, darker on the other. I don't know why. Here's the old one. Yeah, so the old one, but the old one's got this metal backing. You got more filter media with the new one, but you got that metal backing with the old one. Let's look at the rest of the filter. And the rest of the filter is identical. I mean, you get the holes here. Yeah, this goes like this, this way. But, you know, they both got the same holes. This is all the same. Same stamp bypass leaf springs here. It's a different color. Base plates. And the anti drain back valve, same. Cans are the same. The only difference is in the filter media. So I guess it's a matter of preference whether you want more square inches of filter or a metal backing on your filter. This is just my opinion. To me, I prefer the metal backing because you know you can you can tear these but with the metal backing on it you can't tear it that ain't gonna tear there's no way it's gonna tear just like this see this tears so that's just my opinion on it what do you guys think Please post your comments down below. Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and take care.